afternoon, Sarah Elizabeth Dill. You spoke, you spoke this afternoon, this morning at TEDx Monte Carlo, and there probably wasn't a dry eye in the room. <laughs> standing ovation. Yes. I was up in the Twitter room uh -huh. and the Twitter room was standing up <laughs> and applauding you. <laughs> so, well done. Thank you, I'm glad. Uh, it, it, incredible. Um, may I ask you, um, first of all, what was it like for you today on the audience as an experience? It was fantastic because, you know, you're up there and you look around at the room and there's 400 people and to see everyone on the edge of their seat and the emotion and everything. And I just thought to be able to reach all of them and let them know about the statistics, about how serious the problem was. And that was so moving. And that just gave me so much energy to keep talking. And so it was absolutely fantastic. <laughs> My gosh. Oh, and would there be one or two key messages you would like to give people? I mean, I think the biggest thing is just awareness about the problem and spreading awareness and doing things in your daily life to help people and to reach out to women and to make sure that you're doing everything as an individual to make sure that you're not part of the problem. And that was what I got from a lot of people as I talked to today. And just to hear them saying, we want to get involved, we want to help, and then to find out about all the organizations that are doing things already. And so that's, I think, the most important thing. And your key audience for your talk today were is who? I mean, I think it's twofold. Uh, one, it's to reach men and women, especially men, who may not be aware of the problem, and to let them know about it, that this is happening in your life. May I ask, and, what, what's the problem we're talking about? Just for uh, the camera. Sexual violence against women. And, but then I also think, I always find that being able to speak and reach women who are survivors, because I want them to know, you can come forward, you can talk about this, and your life will be okay. And there were people who came up to me and said, I was a survivor. Or men who came and said, my wife or my daughter. And so to be able to reach those people, that to me, to give them the strength. So, yes. That's incredible. And I also know you work a lot with refugees, and you were involved with Panama Bay. Your history is, is quite, <laughs> it's, it's quite diverse, uh, but very significant. Um, and, and I know that there was a big question about what they were going to get you to talk about, because there were so many things that you could talk about. Yes. Uh, what would be a positive message for people going forward? I think the best thing to remember is that we are making progress in this, and that as terrible as the statistics are, you know, more and more people are talking about it. When I first started working in human trafficking, you know, 10, 15 years ago, people didn't even know about it. And now we have television, film, everything. And so I think that as we move forward with social media and events like this, as the more people learn about it, the more we can address the problem and bring it out into the open and actually start preventing it and helping survivors. Awareness is step number one. Yes. Yeah. And how might people get in touch with you if they want to talk to you with ideas, sponsorship? Oh, of course. I'm, I'm on Twitter, SCDLaw15. Um, email, saraedil at gmail.com. So, and you can always use Google and find me there, LinkedIn, everything. So, the goal of the internet. Excellent. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. And well done pleasure. again. Thank you. Appreciate it.